Good day everyone. So today we are going to discuss about transportation safety and economics with the help of the team members via voiceovers as shown on the next slide. And then we're going to start. Transportation safety and economics. Safety planning goal to reduce fatalities and serious injuries on all public roads. Safety planning. A collaborative and integrated approach that brings together safety partners to leverage resources for a common safety goal. Transportation safety, a required factor in the planning process and transportation planners, are key partners ensuring that safety is an integral component of all planning processes. Transportation planners can enhance collaboration, communication, and coordination to achieve the goal of reducing serious injuries and fatalities. Safety Stakeholders Transportation safety performance is linked to a variety of elements, including roadway design, traffic law enforcement, road user behaviors, and emergency response time. Therefore, effective transportation safety warrants a multidisciplinary approach. Safety stakeholders are becoming increasingly adept in recognizing opportunities for partnerships to help attain safety goals and objectives. This section identifies major safety stakeholders and their roles in the safety planning process. The four E's of safety. Engineering. Managing and participating in the development and implementation of a statewide or regional road safety plan. Collecting and managing crash data, analyzing crash data to identify safety issues and projects, etc. Enforcement Responsible for collecting crash data, traffic law enforcement, behavioral safety campaigns, and sharing information with transportation professionals. Emergency medical services provide insights into health and trauma data recorded at the crash scene and updated at the hospital to more accurately report fatalities and serious injuries, etc. Education to administer, advocate for, and implement safety education programs for all road users. Other safety stakeholders Health Department Personnel Particularly effective in providing safety data and analysis skills and insights, lessons learned from other public health efforts, public health approaches to transportation concerns and advice on topics such as transportation access, walking, biking, and active lifestyles in general. Safety Advocates Consists of citizens, law enforcement, public health, medical, diverse groups, government, business, civic, and service groups, and the general public. Where available and effective, they serve as a useful resource for advocacy, community education, and fundraising. Tribal governments, responsible for the transportation issues and needs of their citizens. Tribal areas usually experience disproportionately high rates of transportation related fatalities based on population so it is critical to engage them in the safety planning process planners include participating in safety plan development and implementation cooperating on state wide or regional safety related committees such as emphasis area terms to discuss and collaborate on safety issues crash data collection and management and data analysis tools such as ge geographic information system, crash mapping, elected officials. These are the three types of safety strategies. Number one, crash prevention. Number two, crash injury and fatality mitigation. Number three, improving emergency response and medicine. These are the examples of crash prevention strategies. Commercial driver testing and licensing, drunk driving limits and enforcement, speed limits and speed limit enforcement, standardization of traffic control device, improvement of roadway geometric designs, managing direct access to land from arterial roads, 
aircraft safety regulation and inspection, post-crash investigations and analysis of crash, camera enforcement. These are some mitigation strategies reduce the consequences of crashes. Wide, wider roadway clear zones, ditch slope standards, improved roadway medians, crash testing of vehicles and roadside hardware, automobile safety feature requirements, examples, seat belts, airbags, tire grading, and control. Flammability standards for materials used in aircraft, cabins, and inside automobiles. Improved guardrails and breakaway posts. These are the emergency response strategies. Improve crash, fire, and rescue capabilities at airports. Training and certification of emergency medical technicians. Video surveillance of high crash locations. Pre-positioning of emergency response vehicles, mayday systems on motor vehicles. Topic number two, the fundamental economics of safety. In terms of traditional economic models, safety is most likely an important part of both the demand and supply functions. The possibility of loss, injury, and death presumably enters travel demand and mode choice decisions, albeit that the profession is still hard-pressed to quantify the exact magnitude of the relationship. Topic number three, the economic importance of transportation. When transport systems are efficient, they provide economic and social opportunities and benefits that result in positive multiplier effects such as better accessibility to markets, employment, and additional investments. When transport systems are deficient in terms of capacity or reliability, they can have an economic cost such as reduce or miss opportunities and lower life quality of life. Types of impacts of mitigation We have core, operational, and geographical. Topic number four, economic returns of transportation investment. Transport investments tend to have declining marginal returns or diminishing returns, while initial infrastructure investments tend to have a high return since they provide an entirely new range of mobility options. The more the system is developed, the more likely additional investment would result in lower returns. Common reasons for declining marginal returns of the transportation investments 1. High accumulation of existing infrastructure 2. Economic changes and 3. Clustering Topic number 5. Transportation impacts Transport markets and related transport infrastructure networks are key drivers in the promotion of more balanced and sustainable development, particularly by improving accessibility and opportunities of less developed regions or disadvantaged social groups. Transport as a technology typically follows a path of experimentation, introduction, adoption, and diffusion, and finally, obsolescence, each of which has an impact on the rate of economic development. The most significant benefits and productivity gains are realized in the early to mid diffusion phases, while later phases are facing diminishing returns. Topic number six transportation as an economic factor. Contemporary trends have underlined that economic development has become less dependent on relations with the environment resources and more dependent on relations across the states. The case for multinational firms that can benefit from transport improvements in two significant markets. 1. Commodity market. 2. Labor market. Geographic specialization. Through geographic specialization supported by efficient transportation, economic productivity is promoted, scale and scope of production. The more efficient transportation becomes, the larger the markets that can be serviced. 
and the larger the scale of production. This results in lower unit cost, increased competition. A wider array of goods and services becomes available to consumers through competition, which tends to reduce cost and promote quality and innovation. Increased land value Land which is adjacent or serviced by good transport services generally has greater value due to utility it confers.